Hey guys, welcome back to another Cole Culture Automotive video. I'm Blake Cole. This is Tommy Cole, my brother. But today we're going to talk about is the B&O sound system worth it? Is it worth the $1,200 upgrade to the uh, 501A package for Lariat? Or is it just worth the $610 upgrade to get it on its standalone? Now, neither of us have had experience with the B&O Unleashed system yet. And when we do, we'll talk about that on its own. But this is just for the standard B&O system. Is it worth spending your hard earned money on? Well, we're going to find out. So basically, we're just gonna listen through a couple of songs. I can't play any music on YouTube. I wish I could, I wish I could rock out with you guys. But we're gonna hit three major genres um, that we believe people will probably be listening to. It's gonna be rap and hip hop. Oh, can't get down that way, so I'll end up flipping you guys off. Rap and hip hop, country music, and rock songs. And we're gonna listen to these, kind of just go through them. I'll let you guys see us kind of rocking out, jamming out to it. If you guys listen to anything else, we're sorry. I just think these are the most popular genres that we can go to to target more of the audience. Yeah, I agree, guys. And maybe one of these genres aren't the main genre that you listen to, but I'm sure you listen to at least some of this type of music. And this is the type of music that will strain these speakers by the way we're kind of trying to put it to the test and seeing what they could really do well, and if you listen to classical or jazz you probably aren't going to want to go for that bno system anyway hmm. that's just the truth if you listen to classical or jazz i don't want you as a fan I, that, that's a lie i want anybody <laughs> yeah, i want any, on, i want anybody as a fan i don't care what the heck you listen to okay yeah <laughs> all righty guys so we're gonna jump into it tune in for us just you know jamming out and then we'll cut back real quick and see what we think All right, so that was, uh, actually this one, this song is kind of cheating a little bit, but that was Aaron Lewis, Country Boy. Uh, the reason I say it's cheating is because Aaron Lewis was the lead singer of Stain and now went off and is making country music. Also, fun fact, I almost came out to this song in my wedding. Wife didn't approve of it. Sorry, guys. So we went somewhere else. If you know of this song, you know, this song kind of lets you know what we're about, but we're also a bag of, like a bag of M&Ms are full of colors because the next song is about to be some like. <laughs> never know what you're going to get here. <laughs> Hardcore Lots rap music. <laughs> yeah, so honestly, I think that was really good. Um, very clear to me. The guitar didn't feel strained at all. The bass and the drums didn't feel strained at all. It was all very, very clear, very audible. In the genre there, it was a little rock, but country is mostly country. We'll play something more country here in a second yeah. and give you guys our opinion on that one. But that was a pretty good start to this, and I'm <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. I didn't yeah. think it'd make that much of a difference. Okay, so now we're gonna hit up our rap category, our hip hop category, I guess I'll say. Um, to be fair, me and Tommy don't really listen to anything that is like really new in hip hop. Our our choices are kind of old. We listen to like Tupac, Dr. Dre, um, Eminem. Eminem. Let's just get into it. Okay, so <laughs> that was still Dre Day. Dr. Dre and Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, if you don't know, now you know. That's <laughs> another rapper. Sorry. That was a that was like almost a dad joke that just came from me. I'm yeah. Sorry. That was good. I mean, very clear. Me and Tommy really like lyrical type of rap, so being able to hear the words is actually really important to us. Um, it doesn't mean we still don't like jamming out to the bass. Matter of fact, uh, the next song is gonna jam out to the bass really hard. That right there really showed the clarity of the song. You can still listen to the words but also had a great beat. <laughs> oh, guys, that was uh, Post Malone's wow. Mostly I'm dancing like an idiot to annoy him a little bit because I know he doesn't really care for this music. That song goes hard on the bass. It did, it did. And uh, I literally said wow because <laughs> it sounded that good on the bass. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, after this video, go watch Burt Kreischer dance to this song and you'll be happy I sent you there. That was really good. Uh, I thought I would hear a lot of um, rumbling, maybe yeah. some shaking in the vehicle. Nothing was, it didn't sound like anything was loose. We don't have anything in the doors, but sometimes when you play speakers on songs like this, <clears throat> you can hear it in the like door panel kind of rattle. None of that, no shake, no rattle, and no roll out of these speakers. So I'm pretty happy with that. Moving on to kind of the next category here. Okay, next song is gonna pertain mostly to the rock category. Um, if you haven't heard this song before, or if you haven't heard it in the last 25 years, I don't blame you. You live under a rock if you haven't heard this song come on it's a ba with the ba no pun intended you know what i mean <laughs> it's ba with the ba by kid rock uh this song is freaking awesome man and it is gonna test these speakers so let's see what happens <laughs> That is a minute and 33 seconds of the song where nothing is said. 
<laughs> but Boston it's the build up. We got a build up. <laughs> that song is so good. It's a bit aggressive, I'm not gonna lie, but I listen to mostly rock and country music myself. I love the crap out of that song. Again, the speakers are fine. Fine, it sounded great, very clear, no rattle again. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to play anything that is gonna really make these things stress out. I wouldn't even use fine, I would say excellent. They're holding up excellent, we're stressing them out. Something I'm gonna mention really quick is that another part of these speakers is you get this really nice like metal mesh in front of the speaker that you won't get normally to signify that it is the B&O sound system. So that's actually really nice and it helps the interior look pretty premium. All right guys, for this song, we're going real country. Aaron Lewis, like we said, a little bit of both. He's a country boy. Yeah, but. this is country right here. Everybody knows who Randy Travis is and we're going deeper than the holler. Song. That guy has a voice of an angel. <laughs> I love that song. And know. it sounds even better than usual. It yeah. does. I'm gonna be honest, that's the clearest I've ever heard this song. Now, there are other audio brands out there that put themselves in vehicles. There's Bose. Bose is the only one I can really think of. And we're not saying this is the best. We're just asking, if is it worth, worth it? it? Is it, it worth it? $600? Come on. We're asking if it's worth it. We're not telling you to put thousand dollars in your car. And we're not asking you to rattle your car. We just want clear sound and we still want the bass. Yeah, guys. Um, <laughs> I said we go one more. I said we, let's, just, let's do a blank. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's hit it harder. We do an old blink, new blink. Real quick, before he starts that, I want to let you guys know, with the b &O sound system, you do get a subwoofer behind your back seat. It's very tame. It's very clear. You know, after this song, we'll let you guys know if we really think it's worth it. For this song, we're going to go new blink 182. So it's going to be like your rock, punk, somewhere in the middle there. Because Tom's a sellout. Tom sold out. So I don't want to, I do love old blink, but I'm not going to play old we all blink. Do. Here we, we go. All do. It's going to be bored to death. Alrighty, so after a little bit of Blink, after some country. That sounded amazing. Rock. I think Blink-182, Bored to Death, took the cake. That's not my personal preference, but- It is mine. It sounded amazing. <laughs> it did. It is my personal preference. That's what I listen to all the time. So I'm definitely glad I got these speakers on my truck. Here's the question, is it worth it? Well, do you value clarity? Do you value bass? Do you value not having people hate you in your neighborhood when you just turn your car on and listen to a little bit of music? Well, if you value those things, then absolutely. This is an awesome system. It's an awesome stock upgrade that's covered under warranty. Cannot go wrong with this price point. I don't know you know, how old some of you are. Back, Everybody loves music. Back in our day, we had to go to like a shady stereo shop to get this level of quality when speakers were in like the back over your trunk. You guys remember that? If your <laughs> trunk would rattle. Yeah. If, you, if you're not like 16, you, you'll probably remember that. So it's nice that, you know, from the factory, you get something of this high of quality. I really appreciate it and I really like it. Ford did a great Another job. Another thing, let us know what you guys would listen to in this car. Put that in the comments. With this sound, with the B&O, let us know the first songs you would want to hear. Alrighty guys, all that being said, yes, absolutely, we would get this in our trucks. Matter of fact, we did. Yeah. <laughs> and we're glad we did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, being a part of the community. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.